Hey everyone, Steve Hanthorn here coming at you for UTA Com Week. Now full disclosure, I am not a UT alum, but I went to the next best place, the University of Oklahoma down in Norman. I majored in journalism with a specialty in advertising. I am the former creative director of Warren Douglas Advertising for 12 years in Fort Worth. Prior to that, I worked at a variety of spots in Oklahoma City, Chicago, Dallas and Fort Worth. Uh, these were both agencies and in-house operations. <clears throat> I retired last year from full-time agency work and I'm currently freelancing when I'm not riding my motorcycle or doing chores for my wife. But enough about me, let's talk about you. First, let's discuss resumes. Resumes are very important and you need to keep it one page nice and clean and very, very tight and professional. Don't get too gimmicky. Don't try to get too flowery or crazy creative with your resume with lots of different colors or typefaces. Just tell your story on one nice clean sheet and bring your design skills to bear to make it look really, really tight and really, really professional. Okay, here's a pro tip, something that really, really always bothered me. No typos. We have to avoid typos or any big blunders in grammar or language. We're in the communications business, so we have to look like it. We have to present ourselves as professionals. So have somebody comb it over for you and make sure there's no big blunders or typos, okay? Another tip. Save something from your resume for that inevitable cover letter or email that you'll probably send along with your resume. Pick some little fun factoid from your past, some crazy job you once did, or something interesting about yourself, and uh, put that in the email or the cover letter. That gives them something to remember, remember you by, makes you a little bit more memorable, and gives you something to discuss when you get that interview. Okay, now, number two, let's talk about your portfolio. I recommend that you feature 10 to 12 good, solid pieces in your, in your portfolio, not, not any more than that. Try not to duplicate any idea. In other words, don't show one idea sliced up in five different sizes, the web page, the banner, the magazine ad. You're looking for 10 to 12 very, very distinct individual ideas. If you don't have 10 to 12 killer ideas, then get busy and crank out some spec pieces. Pick some subject that's of interest to you, the things that you like, hobbies and what have you, and crank out some extra spec pieces for your portfolio. This will really help round you out. Um, your goal should be to show your interviewer stuff that they wish they had done. Now, personally, I always like things that were funny, humorous pieces. Other people might like more serious topics in their portfolio. But either way, make sure you've got some really, really solid examples. And this will include uh, your logo designs as well. Um, try not to show anything that's, that's too edgy in the way of gross or anything because you never know how people's tastes are gonna, gonna handle that. So keep it tight, keep it really, really solid and creative and you'll be great. All right. Now, <clears throat> hold back some pieces when they ask for a link to your work uh, or to send them samples. Don't send them everything right out of the gate. That way, when you get that all important interview, you'll have some new stuff to show them and uh, that will give you something to discuss in the interview, which is always great. All right, now, you got the big call, you're gonna have an actual interview. Congratulations, you did it. Show up a little bit early because these days early is on time. And show up like you mean business. Dress for success. Don't just roll out of bed and, and race to the interview. There's no excuse to be sloppy or unkempt. Look like you really, really want the job. I'm not talking about going in full boat suit and tie or a beautiful dress or what have you, but just look like you're really, really interested in working there. Put on a jacket, just look sharp. Okay, I, I'm sure you understand. Um, when you get there, you walk in, you look him in the eye and you shake hands and just exude confidence. You'll be great. Last thing, if you have any questions uh, of me or you'd like to discuss 
you know, some of your work or any other issues that I mentioned, get with Mr. McEwen and he knows how to get hold of me and I'd be happy to help you out. Okay? Good luck.